Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Today I've got a quick video for you. I'm trying to get my 408 cleaver running and I'm having issues with my ignition uh, box. So I thought I would walk you through that. It's an MSD 6AL. This is a very basic. I'm going to walk you through how to test these and what to look for. Um, and we're going to test this in the car. So let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the wiring diagram on the back of these. And if you don't have one, you can always search for it online. Pretty simple to find. We're going to make sure that we have our heavy black to the battery negative, our heavy red to the battery positive. This is your constant uh, power source to this, to your box, okay? And then we're going to have a 12 volts to switch to ignition. This is what turns the unit on, okay? So the 12 volts is coming from your ignition, and it's going to say, hey, I'm ready to work, so it's going to turn this on then you have two different things that you can fire this with. The white wire, if you touch it to ground, when you remove it, it should fire the spark. And then you could also use the magnetic pickup here, the input on this, if you've got a different distributor. You can jumper it and put a wire in there, and when you remove it, it will do the same thing. It will fire the, the uh, ignition, um, or the coil. So you're going to have to make sure you've got your coil hooked up, you got the battery hooked up, you have 12 volt switch ignition source, and then you can either take the white wire and jumper it to ground and remove it, and it should spark, and then, uh, or use the magnetic pickup. So I'm going to verify all my connections. I'm going to make sure that my battery power and ground is good, and then I've got my coil over here. I'm going to make sure my coil is hooked up. I've got it connected directly to a spark plug, and that is going to be setting right about here like so um, and that way we'll be able to make sure we got a good spark we'll be able to see it so we're just gonna have this one to worry about and we'll be able to watch here and see when our spark happens the first thing I'm gonna do is verify that my ground point and my power point both um, give me 12 volts what I'm going to do here is use my, my meter. I'm going to probe the wire. Careful not to stab yourself here. There we go. 12 and a half volts. Okay, so now that I've got power into the unit, now the next step is to jumper my power. Um, my my 12 volt switched. So here's my connector. I know that this one's my power, so we'll hook the one that we're going to jump for the power in there. And the ground is going to go in this one. Then I've got them marked on the other side of the wire, so my black one will go to the ground, and this one will go to the power. And then we're going to have this touching over here on the bolt, or on the uh, chassis. So I have it right about like that, so we'll be able to see the spark. So once you've got your coil hooked up, once you've got this jumpered, and once you've got your spark plug close to a grounded source, you want to make sure that it's <laughs> going to be grounded and that you're not going to be the path. Um, you'll be able to test it. And this is what you should see. So we're going to touch the um, trigger wire to 12 volts positive. There we go. And then our ground wire. You can see we've got a very good spark. So doing that tells us that our ignition box is good. So that's a bonus. Again, so all we're doing is hooking it up per the wiring diagram. You've got your constant power and negative. We've got our coil hooked up. And then we've got our 12 volt switch power, which was this. And all I was doing is connecting that to the battery. And then you've either got your, your white wire. You can just 
and obviously this is jumper, my white wire is in here, um, but you connect your white wire to a ground and remove it, and if it sparks, you're good. The other thing you can do is use the, uh, the green and purple for the magnetic pickup. If you short that out and pull it out, um, that will also do the same thing. So fairly easy to test these. Just make sure that you are not the path between this and ground because that hurts. <laughs> All right, guys. So I've tested my ignition box. I'll move on to another video on uh, testing the um, distributor and making sure that we can get spark from there. So obviously we've got an issue with our negative ground. It's not getting um, from the distributor out to our uh, coil to fire. So we're going to go through uh, checking the pickup and uh, checking out um, the TFI and seeing what's going on. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next video.